Hello folks, Richie Johnson and welcome to World of Tanks, where I and Richie Johnson talk only about World of Tanks. I try to at least only talk about World of Tanks. And I don't know if you are watching what is in my garage, or garage, garage. Uh, it's the premium tier 8 heavy tank Lerve and uh, I know I've said to you all that I don't have anyone and I don't want to spend money on the game and so on and I, and uh, that premium tanks is very good for credit income and so on but yeah I got bored with having so slow rate of income and uh, I didn't have any other tank to like review and so on so uh, I, yeah I bought it <laughs> I bought it yesterday evening or night kind of and uh, have not played any match with it at all it's completely vanilla the only thing I've done is uh, fit uh, equipment cons uh, consumables added the uh, amount of shell types uh, I want uh, I've added camouflage net and binoculars I switched the crew from my VK8 and the tier 8 heavy since yeah they're quite good and I don't mind to like rank them up I have the crew from the VKB also, which I would like to gain get to uh, on the second perk. Let's start with the uh, other crew, since they are on the third perk. Uh, uh, yeah, the Lerve is a t rank 8 or tier 8 premium heavy tank. Uh, I'm just reading now directly from the Wikipedia page. The Lerve is a German tier 8 premium heavy tank, a super heavy tank blueprint developed by the Krupp company. Several designs varying in armament and configurations were drafted. No po prototypes were ever built, the vehicle did not undergo any trials, so this machine was never this was never built at all. Uh, th this tank is designed for sniping. And that's it. Uh, let's see here. It has an... Uh, 105 millimeters or uh, caliber, I would say, gun that uh, has a fire rate of fire uh, rounds per minute. It has an average penetration of 234, and uh, average damage of 320. It's uh, average for. Uh, it's more or less. See, uh, no, damn it! Why, why would I press the tag one? Them HD models takes forever to load. Right, let's see. It's it's nearly the same as the gun on the VK8, but I would more or less use the gun from the Tiger 2 to uh, compare it with. Let's see the top gun on the Tiger 2. There we have it. Right, so Lerve is on the right here. Uh, it's nearly the same rate of fire on every one of them. And the burst top gun for the VK has a 5.9 rate of fire. The Tiger 2 has 5.5. The level 5. Uh, average penetration is better f with the Tiger 2 than the VK, but the level has a l slight better. Uh, average damage is the same since everyone is a uh, 105 mm. Dispersion is quite wide 0.37 for the VK, 0.34 for the Tiger 2, and 0.33 for the Lerve, so the Lerve is quite a sniping tank. Uh, aiming time though is quite long on uh, the Lerve, which is uh, a slight faster on the Tiger 2, but even more faster on the VK. Everyone has the same type of shells, AP, APCR and HE that they are firing. Where do we have it? Lerve. Uh, as I said, Lerve is a snapping tank. It does have 120 at the front, 100 at the side, and 80 at the rear uh, in millimeters. It is very good. It, it's a good slope. It's quite flat here at the lower plate and the middle part. And the turret arm is 120, 80, and 80. But uh, remember that it is. Look at that. It's very v well sloped. It has a nice spaced armor. Uh, it is very trollish. This uh, turret front. It can bounce tier ten machines. Uh, as yeah, as I've said many times now, it's a sniping tank. It does have armor, but it's not the best of armor. And uh, since you can, it doesn't have like special matchmaking. It can face tier ten machines. 
you kind of don't want to get in cl into close combat with it since yep, then you are doomed to die nearly. If you're not side scraping fantastically with it or if you're in an extremely well forgot the name, uh, hold down position. But yeah, side scraping is A and O, or I don't know what's. Yeah. We say A O O, which means A and O, which means everything. Side scraping is everything for this tank nearly. Uh, it's big, it's wide, you can see the tracks, it's extremely wide and big this tank but it is also extremely slow uh, speed limit is 35 maximum it does only has an engine power of 800 it weighs from 90 it can weigh up to 99.85 tons so nearly 100 tons can this machine weigh and uh, traverse speed 24 degrees per second Tur tur traverse speed is 23 degrees per second so it's quite slow it is what they say a super heavy tank it feels that kind of way when you are using it since it's big and very slow so stay at the back if you're not yeah top ten if you're not the top tank in your team you and maybe a IS-3 are the only rank or tier 8 machines on the team in a match then uh, yeah go to the front line uh, view range of 400 meters is actually quite good and if you uh, add binoculars to that you get 25% more which then will be 500 meters uh, but notice this if a machine says the view range is 400 meters it doesn't mean that you see 400 meters directly if you have a tank with a crew let's say uh, the Stug here which has a crew of that's not fully uh, like how to say they're not fully compatible or fully uh, experienced with this machine. This machine has a view range view range of 310 meters, but their actual view range is, is 286, since they are not 100% every one of them. That's what, uh, same is for the signal range. That's what you saw on the lever here. I have the crew from the VKA, uh, this heavy. The basic view range of this tank is 400 meters, but since my crew is that experienced and had little perks and so on, they have a view range of 421 meters without binoculars and so on. And then if you add the binoculars to that, you gain 526 meters of view range. But you can't see that because your maximum view range is only 500 meters. So yeah. Uh, as you can see I have binoculars and Camonet, but uh, what they on the web page recommend is ventilation. Ventilation is always good to every tank you're using 5% plus more crew skills which means that your view range, base and uh, signal range will get better, your rate of fire, aiming time and all that. It's like get having a brothers in arms but it just implements directly nearly. Uh, Large canopy tank gun rammer. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting that too, but not for a little while since I only have 1.3 million. I want to have the mouse and so on, which costs 6.3, I believe it is, and uh, E50M with six, 6 million more and so on. But I want to get up s some more in cash. I want to see how this machine does before I fit it with all this stuff. Because it only has a fire ra rounds per minute rate of fire, 11 and a half, 11.5 seconds of reload time means that you kind of want this large caliber tank around with 10% faster reload and they also want you to have where is it there? enhanced gun length drive as I said this machine was the slowest of aiming between the VKA's Top Gun, Tiger 2 Top Gun and this gun that the Lever uses so you actually want that the gun length drive before you get if you if you're gonna spend money on just one of them, get the enhanced gun length drive before you get the large caliber tank on rammer. One thing they also want is 20% more accuracy during movement and turret rotation, since it doesn't rotate that fast. Let's see, the VK has a turret traverse speed of 25. That's quite fast, but 23. That's a little bit slower than the average. Tiger two, Tiger one is extremely slow. 30 on the Panther two. That is fast, it's really fast for a turret reverse. Same on the Panther. God damn it, these HD models take forever for them to load. 44 on the Panther 4, you see, you see where I'm going. 30 on the E50, 
AMX 20, 44. Yeah, so where was it there? 23. It's average for a heavy tank at rank rank 8, but it's still not that very fast. So I don't think you actually need vertical stabilizer mark uh, to that. Uh, but it, if you get that and enhanced gun length drive, you will get your aim ready, and you will get. You don't have to spend so much time just waiting for the aim, since 10% faster uh, aiming speed, plus that you don't, when you turn your turret around, you don't have to wait that long for the aim, this 10% to work, kind of, if you, you say it takes 3 seconds, you turn the turret around, you lose 10%, which is, uh, <coughs> screw it, let's say you lose 1% in 1 seconds, right, you have 2 seconds to wait for the aim to be fully aimed. But if you have ver vertical sta stabilizers, then when you swing the turret around, you are not going to have those fully two seconds. When the turret is swinging around, the vertical stabilis stabilizers are going to make sure that the aim is slightly m better than uh, it was uh, before you used it. So 20% say that uh, you only need one and a half seconds now to uh, aim from the be from when you're pointing the gun at someone or maybe just one second no, it's not gonna drastically make the sure aim two seconds faster <laughs> but uh, you, you get the point Go enhanced gun length drive, if you're just uh, looking at the target it's going to make the gun aim faster but then when you swing the turret around uh, the aim, like you, you break the aim and then the circle gets really big and then you have then it has to w use those 10% to aim a little bit faster again but w if you have the vertical stabilizers when you swing the turret around the aim circle is not getting that big as it was before so you don't have the same amount of time that you need to spend damn I'm talking much shit now <coughs> no <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm talking what I'm saying is true uh, so I would recommend either you go for one of these uh, since uh, this one is more for on the movement and turret rotations when you're standing still it doesn't work uh, it's more it's just making sure that the aim is not spreading so big when you're moving the turret or the gun around uh, the aim speed is however make sure that the aim goes faster so you, you get a fully aimed time when the aim is fully aimed comes fully aimed faster. So I would say enhanced gun length drive, improved ventilation, and large caliber tank gun rammer. Since if you have a full crew like I'm using here, I'm using this machine to train on my crew, then you will get plus meters for the single ra view range, which means that you don't need binoculars as I have. But I'm gonna change that later on. For now, let's take it out for a test drive. Or at least a virgin ride. My first battle in it. Of course, it's go I'm going to be a only tier 8 machine against uh, tier 10s now. Perhaps. Oh, yes, top tier. <laughs> <coughs> awesome. Very weird matchmaker, though, I can see. when uh, you are watching this video of uh, the Lerva, I might have done, I don't know, 100 battles, so so since this video is the last video I've done now in the streak that I'm going to upload uh, this video is gonna be false advertising perhaps, so to say, with the stats, statistics of my battles and so on. Oh! I see an AP Fire Platoon there actually the squad one on my team, that's uh, players from uh, one of our, how to say, brother clans or sister clans. If the game just could load a little bit faster, I would be marvelously glad. Marvelous. I hope they don't poke, poke me on uh, TeamSpeak now when uh, wanting to play with me and so on. <laughs> I'm gonna type to them in game chats and then when uh, 
button there. I'm gonna stop re the recording and let the game re load. See you soon. Right, here we are on the battlefield. Turning the 15 second mod off. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, we have. I'm a top tier tank here now. <laughs> I told them that they should not poop me since I'm doing a video. Yeah, I do have six cents, I think. Or do I? <laughs> I, I can't remember. I think, uh, maybe I have, I don't know. So I don't know if I have a Spartan or not, but I don't think so. Let's see, okay, let's go out. Thank you! <laughs> uh, yeah, this gun is very accurate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Booyah! Right, they will have a. Borsig and a Panther 2, Panther on the other side there now. Uh, let's see if we can aid some of our friends over here. Since the enemies are pushing very hard. Kill him in a Hellcat, Dolcido in a Cromwell, Panther M10, B Boss. See if we can aid them over here. Kill him is dead. He got killed. Take out. I'm gonna give you a tip. If you have three enemies facing you, one on full health and two that is very dam damaged, kill the one that is the most easiest to take out, since it's better to get rid of one gun than have to be damaged. Since one gun or one tank low tier can still do damage. This Borsig is firing heat on me, that's the only reason he's doing damage to me. And I got the Borsig for some magical reason way over there to be able to fire at me. I mean, that's quite a long time way over there. I'm sure, I can see the Panther, but yeah, maybe you can see me then also. I don't know the view range of the bossy, uh, but yeah, players like that STI. Um, I'm not gonna complain about on a player that's firing goal, but if he's spamming goal as this STI was, his first shot was already loaded with heat. Yeah, you can see down here to the left. First shot that I took from him, heat. Second heat. Third heat. Fourth heat. He was firing premium ammunition all the way. Uh, if you are using a tank with a, how to say, bad gun that doesn't have the best of uh, penetration, then uh, you, uh, that's not uh, like an excuse. This gun, this uh, this tank has a bad gun. It ca I can't penetrate anyone. That's not an excuse for like spamming gold because. If you like spamming gold, it means that you don't have to aim at it, you just fire at the tank, goddamn tank. Well, the tank that you're firing at is doing his best, he's angling perfectly, he's using covers and all that, but still, you're spamming gold at him, which means that what he's done is just in vain. That's what I call actually in unsportsmanlike. Uh, if you don't know where to aim at tanks and you say that you can't penetrate them, sometimes. Bullshit, you can penetrate them without any problems, just aim at the weak spots or aim at the logical places to aim, kind of, I would say. Uh, and if you don't know that, then learn for fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not that hard to learn where to aim at the tank to do damage on them. Ba it's just common sense nearly, and if you're driving an STA or a Star 1, which is a rank a, yeah, a rank 8 medium uh, Japanese is it I think well, uh, 
which means that you have played damn many battles in this game and either you are one of those who are just spamming money and premium accounts on the game and don't know shit about the game and how to like play and win or you're one of those uh, how's it, win heads uh, that can't tolerate to lose and just spamming premium ammunition all the way through and flushing the game with money and so on just uh, to win and have a good stance but uh, you're kind of like your place in the team or in the game is irrelevant actually because it's no fun to play with or against you But yeah, i uh, gonna leave the battle there, since I've been talking around w for a long time now. <laughs> Let's talk about some uh, historical facts or historical info about the tank. Yeah. All of this you can find on the uh, Wargames Wikipedia page and webpage, or the World of Tanks webpage, since it's World of Tanks game I'm looking at now. Uh, the development of a super heavy tank started as early as 1941, when Krupp started the studies of super heavy Soviet tanks. In November of 1941 it was specified that this new heavy tank was to have 140mm front and 100mm thick side armor. The vehicle was to be operated by 5 man crew, 3 in a turret and 2 in a hull. This new Panzer was to have maximum speed of some 40 km an hour, being powered by 1000 horsepower Daimler Benz Marine engine used in Schnelle Boot, or Torpedo Boot boat. Uh, the main armament was to be mounted in the turret. The weight was to be up to 90 tons. In the early months of 1942, Krupp was ordered to start the process of designing new heavy tank design Panzerkampfwagen 7 Löwe. VK7201. Its design was based on previous project by Krupp Design designated VK7001 Tiger Mouse and created in competition with Porsche's design, included first mouse design. VK7001 was to be armed with either 150mm Canone L37 or 105mm KVK L70 gun. Löwe was to utilize Tiger II's components in order to simplify the production and service. Designers, <laughs> I know this might be boring, but you can skip this part if you want to. Designers planned to build two variants of this streamlined vehicle with rear-mounted turret. Le light, li leichte, or lechte variant would have frontal armor protection of 100 mm and it would weigh 76 tons. Heavy, schwere variant would have frontal armor protection of 120mm and it would weigh about 90 tons. Both variants would be armed with 105mm L70 gun and coaxial machine gun. It is known that 90 ton Schwere Löwe was to have its turret mounted centrally and in overall design resemble a future Tiger II. Variants of Löwe were both to be operated by the crew of five variants of Löwe were both variants of Löwe, I typed this wrong here, were to be operated by the crew of five. It was calculated that the maximum speed could range from 30 33 km an hour to 27 km an hour. Adolf Hitler ordered that the design Leste Löwe, the light Löwe ver version, was to be dropped in favor of Schwere Löwe, the heavy Löwe. Lion was to be redesigned in order to carry 150mm L40 or 150mm L37 gun and its frontal armor protection was to be changed to 140mm. In order to improve its performance, 1,000mm one, wide tracks were to be used and top speed was to be increased to 30 km an hour. In late 1942 this project was cancelled in favor of the development of the mouse. During the development of, of Tiger II, designers planned to build, build redesigned version of Löwe, as suggested by the Oberst Fischner, which would be armed with 88mm KVK L71 gun and its frontal armor protection would be 140mm as planned before. Redesigned Löwe would be able to travel at maximum speed of 35km an hour and it would weigh 
90 tons. It was to be powered by the Maybach HL230P30 engine with 12 cylinder engine producing 800 horsepower. Lever would be 7.74 meters long with the gun now, 3.83 meters wide and 3.08 meters high. Lever would be operated by a crew of five. It was planned that Lever would event eventually replace the Tiger II. If Germany or Deutschland would have survived that long enough the, during the war to have the Lever, it was re would replace the Tiger II. Alright, only two sentences left now. From, Feb from uh, February to May of 1942, six different designs were considered, all based on the requirements for Löwe. On March 5th to 6th of 1942, order for heavier tank was re replaced and Project Löwe was stopped in July of 1942. Löwe project never reached the prototype stage, but it paved the way for its successor's, successor's development, Porsche Mouse. Alright, so they never f finished or prototyped or did the lab at all, but it helped them develop the Porsche mouse. I read something, they said something, Tiger Mouse, I'm gonna look that up, Tiger Mouse, see what that looks. Maybe it's a Tiger chassis with a mouse turret. <laughs> seeing is an extremely weird E100 chassis, Tiger 2 chassis with E100 turret. Yeah, I have no idea what Tiger Mouse is. It feels like a VK7001 Tiger Mouse. Yeah, that's um, I see now. Uh, I thought it was a real human. Uh, yeah, real humans near the tank, but I saw now that it was a model. There are loads of different models of the tank, Löwe or Mouse and so on. Uh, but yeah, I want the tank to be out from the battle so we can look at it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, the recommendations of the equipment on the consumables, uh, that's different from the players to players, but I'm always using repair kits, med kits and extinguishers. That's always what I'm using, except on the Yang Panzer I'm using like the premium four gold rounds just in case kind of. Uh, let's see, the Panzer one have high Panzer one C I have made due to high speeds. I want the octane gasoline, uh, enhanced springs and so on. Make it go fast. But yeah. The Lerve, as you can see here, <laughs> is a very good snapping tank. It's well uh, armored. It's uh, armed with a w well performing gun. That's more like it. Uh, it doesn't have the biggest alpha damage. It does have very good penetration. It can penetrate up to 293 millimeters of armor, and that's quite much. And uh, yeah, got Master Gunner. <laughs> The turret is very thick. I don't know, I have had problems with this before with the tank inspector. Uh, I will see if I can uh, like replay uh, or record the uh, tank inspector there for us. And see if we can show us the Lerva's uh, armor. So stay tuned for more. See you soon. Uh, no, the tank inspector wouldn't work with the fraps. Fraps crashed and I have no idea why. Maybe I should uh, reinstall fraps in the uh, tank inspector also since uh, if you're looking at the tank, when the tank is looking like this, when you see the steel, all I can see is the turret and the tracks. If I'm uh, showing in the armor thickness or, yeah, where you see different colors of the armor thickness as one, well, then I can see the complete tank. But yep. Anyhow, uh, I couldn't show you uh, the tank inspector, but uh, at least it has uh, 120 at the hull armor at the front, 120 at the turret front, plus the spaced armor, and it is str extremely well sloped also. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the armors all around, but I've already talked about it, so yeah. I can tell you that it's 120 all the way around here. 
so you don't have to worry about it's only 120 here and 80 here or something like that, or that only this part is 120. But yeah, anyhow, I'm not going to say, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you this that I do on all the other tanks. Buy the lever and try it out for yourself and let me know what you think because it feels like bad if I want to tell everyone to spend money on the game. It's up to you if you want to buy the lever, but if you do or if you already have it or if you have gotten it from some friend and so on, then please let me know how you think of it, what you feel and uh, of the tank and uh, how do you think it performs or best modifications on it and uh, how to play it and so on. If you have any awesome replays of it, send it to me and I will have a look at them. But uh, till the next video of whatever I make, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to support my work today and share it with your friends and neighbors. And I see you guys and girls in the next video of whatever I make. Of whatever I make. But till that time, take care of the channel and bye bye then.